hello team welcome to our channel in today's session we are going to see how to use anchor and extend keyword so let's start you know in the programming language we are using multiple lines of code so for avoiding the multiple lines of code we are using this anchor and extend keywords so let's start so this is one code we have written already in the previous video so let's do some modification in the code so these are the three stages build stage test stage and deploy stage so let's i will add one script here before script and we'll add two sentence here using this echo command like we are learning gitlab session also i will add one line here echo presenting by give object plus tutorials same line i want to use this under the test stage and under the deploy stage so what will happen after executing this pipeline so same sentence will be displaying on under the all three stages right so let's uh, try to execute that and let's see what will get the output here okay let's scroll down and click on the commit changes and let's see okay after committing the pipeline will start automatically so you are you here you can check that the pipeline status as well otherwise on the left hand side under the ci cd if you click on the pipeline you will get the pipeline status here so here it's showing the status of the pipeline here it's displaying the commit of the pipeline update.gitlabci.yaml under the main branch trigger who triggered here it's showing the rupees then triggered and stages stages here it's displaying all the stages build test and deploy stage here also on the red symbol we can cancel that the job and in the download download option we can download the artifact if you click on here there is no artifact form so this session we'll see in the next video as well just click on the running pipeline so our build job has been done successfully click on it and let's see so you will see here key the output it's showing we are learning it lab session we are presenting by devops z plus tutorial and under the script job building has been started so this all the statement has been printed here let's check under the test and deploy also it's displaying here so let's go back to code and let's use the anchor keyword here so how can we use that anchor keyword so on the top of the yaml file after the stages just will add one configure with the name of the anchor keyword so if you want any name there you can give that like suppose i will give some underscore script followed by colon with the m person m person is set up the name of the anchor some underscore script let's go here and just uh, print those two value here i'll copy this value from here i'll paste here then after that we can remove those line from here and let's call anchor anchor keyword here before script so how we'll call the anchor keyword here using the hyphen followed by star and what's our anchor name script underscore some underscore script just we need to give this name here under the all the stages we 
let's go and click on commit option and let's check the pipeline status now pipeline execution has been started let's go and check the pipeline click on the running click on this build a job let's wait for the execution on the right hand side it will display all the information of the job like how much time it's taking how much time it was on queue what is the runner details what's the commit id what is the commit to message here and what's the branch let's see here on the line number 18 20 and 22 so 18 and 20 line we are learning gitlab session presenting by devops z plus tutorial both two lines we have called by anchor keyword so this is the way we can use that anchor keyword here let's go back and check under the test stage here also displaying the same we are learning gitlab session presenting by devops z plus tutorial and this is the script job testing has been started let's go back and check deploy it will also displaying the same the pipeline has been it's executing let's wait for the execution and let's check you will get the same output here as well let's click on refresh pipeline is passed let's see line number 121 23 and 25 now all three stages has been done successfully so this is the way we can use that anchor keyword here and we can call the function using this anchor so after that next uh, scenario is we'll use extend keyword keyword so how can we use that so I'll give the comment here first anchor keyword and I'll commit comment those lines also I will comment those lines from here and let's call the function using the extend keyword so how can we use that extend keyword so just uh, we need to define one extend configuration name here suppose same name will use your some dot script followed by colon after that we need to add before script here and just paste these two sentence to commands here and we need to call this sum underscore script under this jobs how we can how we can call this just go under the stage and give the keyword extends followed by colon and give the extend configuration name sum underscore script let's copy these lines and paste under the test job as well also under the deploy this is the scenario for the extend keyword I will change something we are learning GitLab session or extend keyword let's go and click on commit and let's see what will get the output here mostly we are referring extend keyword because it's inheriting to the jobs and we can it is easy to instead of anchor keywords both are both work it's similar 
let's go the, to the pipeline and let's check the output of this pipeline click on the running this is the job click on this job build job let's wait for the execution now it's, let's see here echo we are learning GitLab session for extend keyword now what we made a changes under the echo command and we have added this line under the extend keyword right so this is the way we can use that extend keyword here let's check under the test job so it will work here as well let's see let's wait for the execution click on refresh yeah it's printing we are learning GitLab session for extend keyword as well as presenting by DevOps Z plus tutorial and under the script it's showing job testing has been started. So like also extend support multi-level inheritance here. So let's go back to the code. I hope guys you understand the flow of anchor keywords and extend keywords. So as soon as we'll use all those things under the complete one project so thank you for watching guys please like share and subscribe